Hello, everybody. You know what? I can do better than that. This is going to be a long, long video. Hello, everybody. That's more like it. Welcome, welcome. Obviously, if you clicked on this video and you've never watched this channel before, you came because it says it's a contest video. And it is a giveaway video, rather. I don't contest. We're not, we're not doing a contest for anything. It's a giveaway. It's a giveaway. And I'll go over uh, what I'm going to ask you to do in a minute. And I even made myself some cheat cards here so that I can stay on track and, and not lose focus. Uh, just apologize in advance. If I start sneezing or sniffling, I'm starting to fight off kind of a pre-cold. Uh, that's why I'm not wearing my contacts and I'm dressed in sort of my around the house attire. I <laughs> got, um, got home for the day and, and changed and everything. And then I remembered that I had promised this video basically today. So I got the game on over here. Quick check of the score. Still one zip Yankees. Uh, really intrigued by the AL series. It's, you know, just a great matchup. I think the unstoppable force versus the immovable object object as it were. And it's going to be a good series, I think. I'm hoping it goes seven. And obviously, as a tried and true Yankees hater, i uh, hoping the Astros win. Even though they won the whole thing a couple years ago. Anyway, here's what we're going to do. We are going to have three prizes. Here we go. An Andre Dawson slabbed auto. A USA auto slab lot. And a Heritage high number box. So here they are. There's the Dawson 85 Fleer. Here is the, I say lot, it's two cards. Tim Salmon in red. And that is a JSA Beckett slab. And Charles Johnson PSA DNA slab. Two card lot. And a Heritage High Number Hanger 2019. So, and I may come up with another prize at some point. Um, I have to just think about what I want to do or what that might be. So, the rules. Very simple. First, you must be a subscriber or subscribe now. Or... Before I just subscribe, be a subscriber. And this is, unlike a lot of contests, this isn't like a, a subscriber, you know, magic, magic number, divisible by 10 sort of giveaway. It's just, I've been on YouTube about six months, just barely over that, and 150 ish subscribers. And I wanted to do something special. I didn't want to have to wait to get to 200 or 250 or, or whatever magic number. And just the point was to have fun and, and just give back a little bit. And I have I don't have a tremendous viewer count or, or subscriber base or what have you. But I do have some very, very loyal people that watch every video and comment every time. And it's just awesome. It keeps me going, keeps me motivated. So that's why I'm not doing this based on a subscriber count. Also, if you're one of those people... Um, you're going to get an entry. You'll see in a minute. You'll get an extra entry into this. So let me continue with the rules. Where's Okay, I'm backwards here. Subscribe. How to enter. There's two ways. Comment, and that's bas basically worth one spot on the wheel I'm going to use. Uh, make a response video, and that's two entries. So you can win multiple items. So if I know Amio, he's going to win, you know, two of them because he'll have two spots. He'll probably do a video. So everybody else gets the one, the one, whatever's left over. So hope you enjoy that. looks like oh, somebody just flew out. Okay. So anyway, that's my little joke about how lucky Amio is. You ever watch that guy open blasters? Holy crap. I'm going to come hang out. I'm going to become a Tenny. Eddie Tenny. Does that sound good? It doesn't. That's okay. Uh, here are my... Free entries. So these people were either really early supporters of the channel 
or just seem to always comment. And I actually went back about a month and did kind of a little tally. And I was just really impressed. And these are people that keep me motivated to keep making content. Uh, sometimes I don't even really feel like it. I'm like, I'll just throw something up. And if you watched my, you know, speaking of Zach Grinky, who's on the mountain right now, almost no hit my Mariners. And I was like, what the heck? I'll just set a camera up and you can watch this depressed dude and... People still even enjoy that, which was cool. So, and commented, and I appreciated that. Just, you get to see a little bit of how my brain works, which is horrifying. But, uh, so here we go. I'm giving free entry to these people. Reindeer Studios, Tony Black, Michael Myers, Amio Tenny, Collector Holic. Whenever I see Michael Myers, I want to say that like uh, Don Pardo from from SNL. Michael Myers. Okay. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for being just huge supporters. And you could still enter, you know, like I said, if let's just say uh, 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 Tony Black, for example, does a comment entry. So he now has two. If he does a video, he now has three. So on and so forth. Um, I think all these guys make content. Yeah, they do. So if they do video responses, they'll have three entries. So that's pretty cool for them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, what else do we got? Okay. Well, what do you need to share? What are we, what are we making videos of? It's important to know, right? So my card says share collection. But the collection I want you to share is something other than what we already know about you. So if you share, you know, your Hall of Fame slabs on your channel, I want to see your Beanie Baby collection or your Hummel collection. Or I had a friend in high school, I kid you not, a female who had a mold collection. Just anything that, that you haven't already shared with us or don't regularly talk about on your channel, that's your video. And that's two entries. If you're a common entry, just comment below. Hey, I collect fancy pens, whatever, whatever it is. Um, what else did I put down here? It's very hard to read. Oh, be creative. If you don't have any other collections, man, I only collect baseball cards. Something you used to collect as a kid. Something you would collect if money was no issue. Uh, something your mom collects. I don't care. Just anything else. We just want diversity and we want to hear about all these different things. So I just, I sort of want to be entertained and just learn more about some of my other friends here on, on YouTube. So your deadline is the 26th by 9 PM Pacific. So if you're on the East, that's midnight. That's a Saturday. And I will be, um, putting together the, the winning video that night and uploading before I go to bed. If you're in the East, it might be 2 or 3 a.m. and you'll have to watch it Sunday morning. But that's the deadline. I probably won't give out a, like a lot of reminders or anything. Um, so bookmark this or jot it down or something. And that's how you know. So one more thing before I share my other collection with you is that you make a video, you need to like comment below. I can't go and search for stuff, I'll miss something. So comment below, I made a video in this video. I made a video about a collection. If you're just a commenter, hey, I collect whatever. Mini helmets that hold pins. When I like your video, that means I have recorded it and sort of logged it in my master sheet. And that's just how you know, okay, I'm officially in. So again, two entries for a video, one for a comment. And we'll do one of those spinning wheel giveaways. I, those tend to, be, tend to be real popular and eh, it's kind of fun. So with that being said, you now have all the information you need to enter my contest. I suggest a title of 
you know, Eddie's baseball autographs, six month giveaway, anything like that. Um, again, you're going to comment and I'm going to go to your channel and verify it's there and watch it and be entertained and all that. And then I'm going to like your comment and put you on my master list. So even if your title doesn't have my name or whatever, totally cool. I will find it if you comment, if you comment. Okay, you have all the information you need to enter this giveaway. So if you don't want to see my little special collection... You're welcome to just turn this off and turn the game back on. Where are we at here? Bottom of the fifth. The Yankees are up by a run. I feel like that won't hold, even though the Yankees have that awesome bullpen. Um, anyway, like I said, get back to the game. Start planning your comment or your video. If you'd like to stay, I'm going to share my collection with you. I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but I have... These are records. And that's a record player. And that's a Crosley or Crosby. I can't even remember because it's basically not something a record collector would brag about. It's sort of like the Crocs of the of, of the record world. Um, it would be like bragging about having a 1990 Donruss Tom Foley PSA 7. That's That's what this is here. But my records are for utility. I buy them to listen to them. So while they are a collection, they're something I use. And if you're if you're a vinyl nerd, you know, you'll see that these are here, or or if you've researched, these like kind of destroy records. Um, but again, I buy these to listen to them. I don't have anything first edition. I don't have anything that's worth probably more than 30 bucks. So that being said, uh, let's just take a look at a few. I got probably 10 or 12 here. I'm just going to share with you, just kind of random. And maybe if I remember or if I think about it, I'll just share my favorite track off, off of each one. But a uh, little bit of everything. Well, that's not true. Most of it's rock or rock inspired or some subgenre of rock. And a lot of it's prog rock because that's just my thing. So uh, out of the gate. These are alphabetical, that's how I keep them back there. And so I kept them over here alphabetical because I got to put them back. Beatles. Uh, what can I say about the Beatles? I don't know. Uh, you know who they are. This is, uh, we just celebrated the 50th anniversary of the release of Abbey Road. And they did like a box set thing. But honestly, I wasn't that intrigued by it because they all they did was add a t-shirt and a couple of outtakes and stuff. And it wasn't that interesting to me. This is obviously fairly new. I just got this at like a Target or something. And uh, I really, if I could cheat and uh, do Golden Slumber's Medley and say that's my favorite track, uh, they run into each other, so we're going to do that. So Golden Slumber's Carry That Way at the End. Uh, I just love it. Just a beautiful ending to a great, great album by a great, great band. This you don't have. So this is actually a buddy of mine. His name's Carl Blau. He's been writing and recording music since we graduated high school, and we're in our mid-40s now. He's sort of an indie folk rock kind of guy. He recorded and released music locally until just a couple years ago, and he moved to Philadelphia for more opportunities out there. And uh, if you like that kind of music and an indie, indie folk kind of stuff, check it out. Um, that's him there on the back. And probably my favorite track on this is uh, Blue As My Name, uh, mostly because that's kind of a joke. He's played a lot in Germany, and his name, Blau, there means blue, and it's very heavily associated with, like, depression. So it's sort of like saying, my name's Carl Sad, and they they kind of don't get it. It just doesn't make sense with their language. So he's having a little fun with that there. Blue blue is my name is the track. Okay. Good old American rock. Boston. Love me some Southern rock. Uh, how about Don't Look Back? Great track. Turn on any classic radio station. Wait, you know, half an hour. You're going to hear a good Boston track. The Cars. Uh, Self-titled debut. Probably their best work. Rest in peace, Rico Kasich. Um, 
I don't know. How do I pick a favorite off here? These are all like hits. Just what I needed, probably. Love it. Okay. Had to pull this. Uh, lost Ginger Baker a couple days ago. Great, great album. Uh, band was only around for a couple years. Uh, Stevie Winwood, Ginger Baker, Rick Gretsch, Eric Clapton. Uh, I watched a documentary on Ginger Baker uh, off of YouTube. It's it's free on there. It's I think it's called Beware Mr. Baker. And he was quite a guy, but very hard to get along with just because of his personality. And him and, and, and uh, Rick Gretsch just fought a lot. And it was very hard to make music. But when they did, it was just awesome, awesome stuff. And I don't know. Can't find my way home, I guess, would be my favorite off that. Okay. I love me some Bob Dylan. Uh, Bring It All Back Home is my favorite. And Subterranean Homesick Blues, I guess. I once said that was like an early and a rap song, and I got laughed at so hard that I stopped saying it. But he's singing fast. He's rhyming. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Do you know, you know anything about Dylan? One of my very favorite groups, ELO. I uh, got to see them in concert. Really, it's Jeff Lynne and a, a bunch of other people. Um, the people that played on on um, Out of the Blue, you know, they've moved on um, just to do other things and split up. But Jeff Lynne, obviously the heart of ELO. Saw them in concert in Tacoma in uh, June of this year, and it was awesome. And Jeff Lynne's just he's practically a living legend to me. I, I, I have so much ELO. I just grabbed this one. As, I think it's probably the their best stuff. But um, Mr. Blue Sky, best track on there. I mean, there's a lot of great ones, but it's definitely the most popular. You see it in commercials and movies. And uh, if you don't know it, if you don't think you know it, Google Mr. Blue Sky, and after about three seconds, you're like, oh yeah, that one. And they have a lot of tracks like that. Here we go with some prog. Into the Prague, like I mentioned. King Crimson, Court of the Crimson King. Probably one of the easily top 10 Prague albums. Most people would have it in their top five, maybe even number one. I like 21st Century Schizoid Man off that. That's my favorite track, but the title track is also great. Another one of my favorite Prague groups, Jethro Tull. I have a lot of Tull. Uh, five years ago, I would have said Aqualung was their best album. Two years ago, I would have said uh, it was a thick as a brick. And lately, I've just been on Passion Play, title track. Uh, great stuff. Canadian prog, Rush. Farewell to Kings. Good stuff. I mean, everyone knows Rush, so. Um, closer to the heart, I guess. I will go with that. A little harder. Harder than prog. It's probably... Some of the hardest rock I have in my collection. I love Scorpions. I'm spacing on the lead singer's name. Um, Klaus or Klaus or something like that. But I just love his voice. It's just, he's got such a unique kind of shrilly thing kind of going on. And if you like Scorpions, you, you already know what I'm talking about. And uh, No One Like You, probably the best track on there. Where's this video? Only 19 minutes? I thought it was going to be like 30. I'm down to just like four records. Okay. I said I had rock and a lot of like sub-genres. And Steely Dan's probably kind of like a... Kind of a jazz rock, if you don't know Steely Dan. Asia, this is my favorite album of theirs. At least of, of the ones I have. And Josie is my favorite track. Although I'm always singing Deacon Blues... When, uh, whenever people talk about Crimson Tide or whatever, Deacon Blues gets stuck in my head. But Josie's my favorite track off, off of Asia. But good album. More Prague, Styx, Grand Illusion. Uh, if you like Styx, you love Styx. If you don't care for Styx, you very much probably don't care for them. Uh, I love the title track off Grand Illusion. Um, Come Sail Away, of course, another great track. What are we down to? Oh, there's a couple. Um, I couldn't pull this. That right there is Otis, Rec 
Otis Redding record called Tell the Truth. And it's one of my very favorite things I own. It's not really easy to get in and out of this frame. But I've listened to it so many times that I kind of have it memorized. And I could always pull it up on Spotify or whatever if I need to listen to it. But for now, it's in there. And way up here out of sight is some other stuff. Um, I'm going to save for last. Super Tramp, more Prague, Crime of the Century. Um, Bloody Well Right, probably my, the best track off this. Okay, so I talked a lot about Prague. If, if anyone's even still out there, my absolute favorite band. I like him more than Pink Floyd. I like him more than Jethro Tull. I like him more than Super Tramp. I like him more than Genesis. Yes. And this is an absolute, absolute masterpiece of an album. It's easily one of the best things I own. Um, if, I had to, if I had to ditch every record I owned and got to keep one, this would probably be it. This would probably be it. Um, I guess there's only three tracks on here, but I guess I'd pick the title track as my favorite. And this cover was done by Roger Dean, who's kind of a famous artist. He's done lots of covers of prog albums. And this one, I just, it's basically a green field that graduates you know, from dark to light. And he's responsible for like creating the fonts and all this stuff. And that's kind of Yes's signature. Well, that's their branding. But my favorite actual Roger Dean artwork on a Yes album, of which there are many, is, I hope you can see it, but that's fragile. And it's kind of this cool earth. And it's got this weird kind of spaceship. It looks like it was built on a desert island flying over it. And it's very cool. And anyway, Roger Dean's a very cool artist. Just if you think of like Avatar... Like that kind of style, that's Roger Dean. And in fact, he tried to sue James Cameron, I think, and it got thrown out in court. But he's always got like these levitating rocks and, and all this cool stuff. Anyway, 22 minutes, probably 23 by the time I hit stop. Easily my longest video. If you're still out there, you probably like music and hearing people ramble on. If you hit stop 10 minutes ago to start your video, like I said, you didn't miss anything. So... Anyway, that's a good thing. Final check on the game. Oh, the Yankees scored a run when I was yammering on here. I don't know how. But um, top of the sixth, one out. Grinky's still out there, so this one's not over, I don't think. Um, I just I can't imagine the Astros getting skunked here. But Anyway, uh, get making videos, comment, and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. So we have until, where's my, uh, whoops. All right, here we go. Uh, the 26th at, you know, basically midnight on the east, nine on the west. And let me see what you got, YouTube world. Can't wait.